What's going on folks? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is the video review of the 100% authentic real wood skins from Carved. These were sent to me by the Carved CEO and they are crafted for the MacBook. I have a 13 inch unibody MacBook and uh, I'm going to be installing this one on as well as show you the one I have on currently. So basically what these are is they are 100% real wood. Let's pop into one of them and then I'll show you the laptop in a minute. Um, they are molded for a variety of different devices and vary in price range. There's the iPhone 3G model which comes with a front piece only. There's an iPod, or excuse me, an iPad model that comes with a back piece only. There is a iPhone 4 version that comes with a front and back piece. And then there is the MacBook version coming in a 13, 15, and 17 inch flavor for the MacBook, MacBook Pro, and or MacBook Air. So here we have the Unibody 13 inch MacBook Pro one. This is, I believe, the chocolate cedar. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I believe to be true. I could be very wrong, and if I am, I apologize. But essentially what this is, is legitimate wood. Unlike a lot of vinyl stickers and uh, some of the other competitors to Carved, you're not paying $35 for a piece of plastic. This is 100% real wood. Now it's flexible, it's flexible, it's flexible because wood is pretty flexy, but you can hear, there's definitely some stature to it, and this is absolutely real wood. As you can see, I just kind of cracked it there. Um, the unique part about using real wood is they are all different. There's not a single skin that is exactly the same as another. And that's really cool because when you buy this, you have the assurance that your MacBook is going to be the only MacBook that looks like this. Now, of course, there is the Apple cutout, and then there is the Carved logo down in the bottom right-hand corner. But other than that, it is just a raw natural look. Now right now I have the 100% maple version installed and I don't think it could be any sexier. Um, I'm going to be removing this to put this on to show you how easy installation is but I'm kind of sad because this is a beautiful skin and hopefully I don't think I'll be able to but hopefully I can keep it intact when I pull it off because I would love to keep using this once I'm done. It is so sexy and there's, it's really cool because since it is real wood there are like different marks in it and you can trace your fingers along the grain and you can feel the way it runs. It's really unique and really cool. And honestly, the carved pricing is pretty good. This is 35 bucks, you get a front piece. Kind of seems like a lot, but when you think about it and you look at the competitor pricing, it's actually pretty good because the competitors are charging about $35 for the same deal, but it's only the top lid, um, but I'm, you know, which is the same as this, but it comes in a plastic or vinyl uh, look. And it's kind of cheesy and this really makes your MacBook look ultra sexy. So we're going to turn it over and this displays how to adhese it. It is a 3M pad. You remove this little sticker and it literally becomes a gigantic sticker and you throw it on top and you're ready to go. I could line it up just so to show you how it looks, but um, that actually looks pretty good. Maybe I'll install it. So let me pull this uh, maple version off and then I will get to showing you exactly how to install it and how easy it is. Hey guys, so I finished taking the carved wood skin off and here is obviously the first con that I've been able to see. Holy crap is removal hard. That 3M adhesive is good and this is all uh, that my carved wood skin is now made out of. So installation is easy, it sticks on really well, but the issue comes when you decide if you decide to remove it. It took me about 10 minutes to pry this wood off and it took several pieces later to get it all gone. As you can see, I still have several wood fragments um, and there's a ton of adhesive still stuck on the MacBook itself. Now, luckily, this is going to be very easy to remove with soap and water. Um, just a little bit of a spray. It's not going to be hard. I mean, it's not like this is a huge deal breaker on the carved wood skin, but it's kind of a bit of a downer that it is that difficult to take off and you will most definitely destroy your skin if you decide to do so. So anyway, I'll come back and then we'll reinstall it. Right, so I finally got all of the glue off of the computer. It took a long time and it is a huge downside, way harder than it needed to be. I don't know if the glue uh, like melted to the computer, I don't know, but the wood didn't pull it off and that is a major downside for me. But nonetheless, we are gonna put the new one on and uh, I plan on never taking this off because I don't wanna spend two hours picking glue off again. But uh, we'll unpeel this here. And unlike uh, the bubble decals or the silicone ones, there's no bubbles under here since it's a solid piece of wood. 
So you don't need to worry about all that garbage. So it really seriously is just like a line and drop. So boom, that's it. Place that down, stick it down. And we are good to go. There it is. So I'm going to rub this a little bit more to make sure it's fully adhesed, but that is basically all there is to it. This is the carped beautiful wood skin. As you can see, there's still the wonderful profile of the machine. It doesn't add hardly any thickness. You wouldn't be able to use a case with it, but um, it is very thin profile. You'll still be able to use all your laptop bags and all that good stuff. Anyway, this is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy. Final review on the carped wood skin. I love the idea, I love the design. The only issue when it comes to removal is actually getting it off. I'm not sure why I had such a difficult time. I'm not sure if that's atypical, but uh, that's how it happened and um, you know that's what you gotta deal with. So final review is an eight out of 10. Beautiful wood skin, good price. It's competitive with the silicone skins. It looks good, holds up good, stays clean. Everything is perfect except for taking it off. And chances are you probably won't be, so all in all, it's a superb buy and I would absolutely recommend it. Thanks so much for watching. This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy. And as always, stay snazzy.